bring in Elephant Boy first. Just alone. Alone. Okay. What is Elephant Boy doing here? Elephant Boy is here because uh, Elephant Boy now has a girlfriend. And remember you said you didn't believe it? Uh, right. Well, you can believe it. He has a bona fide girlfriend. Elephant no. Girl? I won't believe it. There is an Elephant Girl. Here he is, Fred the Elephant You're Boy. You're telling me that has a girlfriend. <laughs> how you doing, Howard? Hey, Fred the Elephant Boy, how are you? Fine. Fred, uh, when I found you, uh, yeah. let's recap for people who Myrtle Beach, who never heard Fred the Elephant Boy, or Orlando. Orlando, New Orleans. When I found you, I received a letter from your co-workers. Yeah. You were a guy at work. People made fun of you, I guess. Is that correct? Correct. Because of the way you spoke. Yeah. And and you were a virgin. That's right. That was the point of the letter, that Fred was a virgin. I heard your That's story. It was very sad. I called you. I found out that you were, in fact, a virgin. You were uh, in your 20s, late 20s, I believe, yeah, at the time. Yeah, yeah. Is that correct? How old I were you? Thought, well, let me say it was almost five years I'm quite a bit up when, when I was 30. How old were you? Yeah. I said what the question was. Yeah. Uh, 30. 30? Yeah. You were 30? Yeah. No, right. 30. No, 30. 40? 30. 30. 30. 30. All right. You were 40 years old. Yeah. All right. You were 30 years old. You had never had sex with a woman. Correct. Closest you had come up until that point was maybe a kiss on the cheek. Am I correct? Yeah. Yeah, hardly nothing. Hardly nothing? Yeah. I think he came as close as looking in magazines. <laughs> yeah. Had you ever even kissed a girl at that point? Oh, yeah, yeah, but but not for one man. No. Not for one man. No. In other words, you would yeah. kiss your mother goodbye. Yeah, that's a, yeah. And cousins. Yeah, yeah, and yenta yeah, 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 ants. <laughs> yenta yeah, ants, all right, yeah. all right. So you were in pretty bad shape. Yeah, you say. <laughs> I don't just say, a lot of people say, all right. So you uh, came on the show, I got you a date, and you did not get uh, laid from that no. date, did you? No. And you lied. And you, you told know, us you did. Be, only, only because I don't want to make the girl look bad. You, know? <laughs> you, you felt bad for the girl yeah. that she had to have sex yeah. with you. Yeah, that's it. I don't, I don't like to bad, bad math people. Well, you mean yeah. you, were, you you didn't want her to look bad, so you lied and said you had sex with her? Uh, yeah. I, and you were as blue as the shirt you're wearing, but you felt bad for her. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> in other words, so. she did she kiss you on that date? I forget. I, I think she did, but not like a... You know, another. Real. You know, I just met met people for like a couple of seconds. And why do you think women stayed away from you up until then? Did they think you were retarded? I think so. Yeah, and you yeah. were not retarded. What is no. your IQ? Have you ever been tested? No, normal. No, normal. Normal IQ. Yeah. That's a, like like it's a when when I was young, I was put in special education because they didn't know where to place me. You were put into special education yeah, because I, they didn't know where to place you? You didn't have Sally saying? Field as a mother, no, obviously. Right. And about the fifth or sixth grade, I was stimulated into regular class. And fifth or sixth grade, they put you in regular class, and that's yeah. when your nightmare began because yeah. all the regular kids made fun of you. Correct. With the teacher calling you in class? Most of the teacher was so unsympathetic. I get birdie at the show. Don't let them, don't, don't let them. <laughs> I don't know why. He no, lost I the used, other. I, I used to get bully kids used to make fun of me. I right. used to get into fight at the blame of me. Because, the, the teachers would blame you for yeah, the fight. Oh, yeah, that because, word you lost because, is bully. Because you should, you should just ignore them. You should just know that. If, no, if ignore. Group, yeah, ignore if them. If group, <laughs> So this is Elephant you. Gump. Yeah. Yes. Did you see Forrest Gump yet? Yeah, uh, yeah, wonderful movie. You're wonderful. The story of your life. I just remember this, Howie. Just, be, just because I talk funny, I know how to make love. Well, we'll, we'll find out, won't we? We'll talk to your girlfriend. What's and his wrong girl. with this girl? Now, let me, let, let, me. Now, now, hold on a second. So, so when I met you, you were in bad shape. And finally, I brought you on another dial yeah. date. And in fact, I got you sex with a sexual surrogate. Did I not? I, uh, she was wonderful. First experience. And yeah. she said she wasn't a prostitute; she was a sexual surrogate. But yeah. between you and me, that sounded like a prostitute to me. I'm, I'm, we use, you know, puppy optics. Excuse Robert. me. We use robbers. <laughs> you use robbers. Puppy oh, optics. Pro, pro, puppy you, optics. Pro, <laughs> how do you say? How do you say that word? Puppy optics. Puppy optics. All right. So you use some puppy optics. <laughs> 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 That's a new uh, one. Why would he try that word? I gotta work that <laughs> word into. Yeah, no yeah, why would you? Why don't you just say rubbers? Or or rubbers. Condoms, anything. Yeah, yeah, condom. Can you yeah. say condom? Condoms. Why yeah. did you try saying prophylactic? I tried to be professional. You wanted to see be professional. <laughs> Do you try big words sometimes to see what'll yeah. come out? Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I'm very smooth with it. Sometimes you. Oh, you mean you've you've said prophylactic in a smooth yeah. way? Yeah. Do it now, please. <laughs> no, no, no. I will pop it. Just try. Prophylactics. All right, there you go. All right. <laughs> Proper actic. Proper actic. 
All right. Oh, big, big guy, if the author was, I'll injure your chin again. <laughs> what do you say? He said, uh, be quiet, Fred, or otherwise I will injure your chin again. All right, very good. Thank you. So you did start those fights in school. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so anyway, um, okay, okay. So so let's just say that you had sex, and then it was a big dry spell. Yeah. How long ago was that? Well, it's just the doctor up like two, three years ago, you know, so. What? When, when How long ago was what? It what? sounds like two or three years ago. Oh, two yeah, or three years ago you had like, sex for yeah, the first time, yeah. and so it's been a three-year dry spell. Yeah. Maybe longer. Yeah, about, yeah. So you've been yeah. waiting to get it, and, and the only thing that's really come along is that uh, that stripper that befriended you is yeah. Joe Lynn, but she won't give you sex. Um, and, um, it's just like a family. We're like two different people. All right, yeah. so now now as a setup, let's bring in yeah. Joe Lynn. For, no, we're not going to bring the girlfriend in yet. Yeah. Bring in Joe Lynn Joe so we can Lynn, show what good? has been teasing Elephant Boy. Yeah. She hangs around with him. It's her way of getting on the radio show. Yeah. But this was a good incentive. That's it. Yeah. Because this got Fred into action. <laughs> right. All right, here is Joe Lynn. Now, Joe Lynn, you sit, uh, have her sit here. Sure. Okay. All right, or, or whatever, I don't know. Okay, which, whichever one. Joe Lynn has changed her hair color, hasn't she? Have you changed your hair color, Joe Lynn? No, it's the same. It's the same, it's the same Maybe thing? Maybe the lights in there. It's different yeah, lighting. Yeah, it's new lights, probably. I heard new you light. talking about them. All right, so you, of course, uh, befriended Elephant Boy because it was a way to get on our show, true? No, I'd yeah. already been on your show. I was friends with Elephant Boy just to be friends with Elephant Boy. Because he was sweet. But she is really a hot-looking stripper mm -hmm. who works at Scores. You going to be at Fred's bachelor party today? Of course. <laughs> she was at the last one. You don't mind Fred throwing up again? <laughs> no. How you feeling, Fred? I'm feeling much better, thank you. Good. Good. Jo what was she saying about Fred? Fred was her buddy or something? Yeah, well, when best friend? after buddy. Fred was unconscious and bleeding, she comes up to me and goes, "I better go in the in the ambulance with Fred cuz he's going to need a pretty girl with him. <laughs> he's going to want a pretty girl with him." And I'm going, is she hallucinating? Were you were you on high on coke or something no, that day? No, no, no. But the last thing Fred saw before he fell down was a bunch of beautiful topless women. I didn't want him to wake up. Yeah, but you were almost you something. were fanatical about getting in that ambulance. I think she you thought you were old. They had to grab Fred's oh. clothing from you. I think she no, thought that crazy. it might have been a newspaper article out no, of this, and she no. would have been uh, oh, pictured in the, the newspaper. No, the, I couldn't figure yeah. out her angle on why she wanted yeah. to be with Fred. And then she goes, "I love Fred, and Fred's my good buddy, and and he's gonna want someone who loves him." And I said, "Fred," afterwards, "Do you know Joe Lynn?" He goes, "I hardly ever spoke to her." <laughs> <laughs> I've, said, I've said no more than two words. Were not that I wouldn't. Right. It just has never come up. But in he's always so nice and smiling. And he does yeah. all the good little noises for me. You know, all the but, little sound effects. And I'm here. But you know what's funny is Ganji had to fight to get my possessions back from her. Yeah, yeah she was like yeah. fanatic. She goes, Howard, Gary hates me because he won't let me in that ambulance. And, I, and I'm like, oh, my God, she doesn't get it. <laughs> and she's not a stupid girl. No. I mean, no. are you a stupid girl? No. No, no. no you're smart. <laughs> but she had this obsession with getting into the ambulance but with Fred. I think she's yeah. the heart of gold. Uh, yeah, kind maybe. Of maybe. Thought, you know, she sees it. somebody in need, she has to go yeah. to them. I don't know. Like it was weird. I mean, she hooked costs. up with Fred. She's like the, the angel of death. Boy, <laughs> Because <laughs> yeah. he was a loser. Right. And then Fred cracked his chin. She wanted to hook up with him. Now, there you go. Girls take better care of boys than another boy would, you know. I don't know. I don't know. We had Gay Rich yeah, there. Gay Rich was doing a pretty good job. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. But meanwhile, so Joe Lynn spent the, the whole uh, bachelor party with me at Scores, yeah. which I wasn't yeah. complaining. Seeing her naked is a treat, yeah. right? right? And you and you wanted to come into the bathroom and clean the vomit off me, right? I think I did, didn't I? Yeah, well, yeah. Except that Dominic and about 20 other guys piled in because they didn't want Joe Lynn alone with me. How big is this room? A uh, little tiny bathroom. <laughs> I don't know. I think it could have been good if those guys that didn't was, pile in. That was only Dominic in there. You can't have a bunch of guys piled I'll tell you one thing. I was mad that Fred threw up on me. At least had a, a girl cleaning me up. Well, I'll throw up on you again. Thanks. <laughs> so anyway, she was like a regular Florence Nightingale cleaning vomit off me. Then Fred, all of a sudden, when we come out and he's full of blood and everything right. and he passes out, Jolene's like, Howard, you want my videotape? You want my videotape? Oh, she had some kind of... No. I go, I go Jolene, no, I'm concentrating not. on Fred right now. Fred is dead, bed, and she's hawking Yeah, she has some videotape with her hawking some television She show. thought you were getting in that ambulance then. No, yeah, she right. wanted to go with you. Right. That's not true. I gave it to you right when y'all were leaving. That's all I gave it to you because it was Fred and Baba Booey and all them on there. So you can Anyway, see. for the TV show, do me a favor, Jolene. Stand up so guys can see you. So Fred, the elephant boy, is hanging around with this knockout, okay? On a regular basis. Yeah. Sleeping over at her apartment. Yeah. The whole deal. Yeah, but look at no this. no sex. Yeah, look. And the little short dress. and the She would go out to parties with him and pretend to be his fiance and kiss him. Yeah. And and get he, him all worked up. And and more than that, he would even sleep over her apartment. Right. And you wanted her real bad, but of course she wouldn't give you the time of day, Elephant Boy. Why don't you admit it? I know. I know. 
and what? I never put you know you know we we stretch we we oh. set things straight lactic software <laughs> we set things straight from the beginning you know I knew the boundary I didn't step off of it all right, all right, yeah. okay, all right. But in in other words, everything he said was true. So yeah. she was a real tease with a capital T, so you'd run around. Would you see her running around her apartment naked? No. And no. Um, she, she, she wear like a, like a, like, like a, a teddy? Like a bag, no, like a baggy uh, sweatshirt, you know. Yeah, anything. But she got great legs. Yeah, and she, and she wear a baggy yeah. sweatshirt with no, with no, just with a pair yeah. of panties on, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you would sit there and watch her and dream of having sex with her? Like you said... Like I said, I didn't say anything. Like I I said. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I always said that uh, I I never I never constantly put it in that level because I would only be frustrated. So I just say it as a friend. Yeah, yeah. Good you luck. Know. Yeah, a friend. It's, and it's, didn't it's you have telling. a roommate too? Gorgeous roommate. Uh, running yeah, around the same running condition. around in the same condition. And Fred would go up there and torture himself. But at least Fred had some friends now. Yeah. Some happening looking girls. And then he'd go over to score yeah. and hang out with her. Yeah, and torture himself. <laughs> now, the big news, I got to take a commercial yeah. break. After the commercial break, we will meet Fred the Elephant Boy's actual girlfriend. But you first yeah. have to tell me yeah. how they met. Uh, you'll learn everything okay, right yeah. after these words. We're here with uh, Fred the Elephant Boy. Very exciting today. We went to number one in Myrtle Beach. Spin Doctor's coming in to uh, celebrate. And Fred's got a girlfriend. That's oh. a big deal. Fred, Fred uh, shall we ask you how you met this girlfriend first before she comes in? Or may- let's yeah, let's bring her in. Yeah. Let's bring in Fred the Elephant Boy's wow. girlfriend now, right now. Now, what does he call a girlfriend? How long has he known this girl? Yeah, how long have you uh, had this relationship? I'm, Good question. I'm, I first met her. Can you talk into that microphone? Bring, th- that's it. That's I first it. met her at your at, at your Cleveland funeral. Cleveland you know, funeral. Cleveland funeral. All right. You know. Now, how did you you met her in Cleveland? Yeah. So she was a girl. She's a girl from Cleveland. Yeah. But uh, here she is. This is a wow. The girl who take a seat. Wow. There she is, elephant girl, <laughs> if I may. How much did he have to pay you? <laughs> I'm sorry, now I don't hear her. Why is that? Can't hear her at Let all. Let me say something now. Say, testing one, two. He didn't have to pay Which me anything, Howard. Hmm. Well, again, we don't have a microphone that works, but that's never stopped me before. <laughs> Not plugged, in, hmm, not plugged in. That's Scott the engineer. He that is a big it, help. That makes it Duh. What's on his mind? What's on his mind? Hair. Hair. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, you got to plug in the microphone. You got to plug in the microphone. It goes behind you. This is number two. Number two? Number two. We don't even use number two. Oh, and you don't even change the position. <laughs> you are not an engineer anymore. You're just Scott. <laughs> Scott the bald one. Now, now let me hear you. Say something. Okay, good morning, Howard. I still can't hear you. The, the microphone is no good. Uh, do me a favor. Move that over. Jolyn, do me a favor. Move over at Elephant Boy for a second there. Good. Okay. Elephant Boy, move closer to her. I'm going to orchestrate because I can't get a microphone. <laughs> well, good morning, Howard. This is some operation. Oh, I just busted my ribs. And probably a few blood vests. Call me an ambulance. <laughs> Your ambulance. Look at this. I got a discussion about the microphones. Jolyn, talk into that. Jokes. Good morning, Howard. All right, good. That now works. we got it. Now where everything's working. I Am apologize I working? to Mrs. Elephant Man there. <laughs> because, uh, Elephant Girl. Elephant Girl. <laughs> I apologize to you because uh, obviously I had hoped for a more Especially professional. Especially on your first visit. Well, what can I say? I'm a little upset. Nah. Now tell me something. I see the two of you are holding hands here in the corner. Is that correct? That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> and you met in Cleveland. This is unbelievable that Fred has actually got a girl. Well, wait that he... a minute. A girl who lives in Cleveland? Yes. Now, how often do you guys get to see each other? This is the first time we saw each other since the funeral. So oh. how can you call yourself a girlfriend? You're somebody Please. who talks to on the phone. Robin. Oh, no. We this talk is... every day on the phone. Yeah. Yeah, you talk every day on the phone, and now you've only seen each other in Cleveland. Yeah. And, and now here. And now here. So you've only really been together like two or three days total. Yeah. Physically. Right. Wow. All right. Now, what happened in Cleveland? How did you meet? Elephant Boy? Uh, you know, there was a group of people waiting for you at the airport to get autographs. Once again, I got <laughs> Elephant Boy laid. <laughs> of course. Oh, yeah. yeah. Indirectly. Indirectly. Indirectly? Yeah. No, I would think this is very direct. Uh-huh. I'd say this is more than indirectly. Uh-huh. You know what I hate about this? I can't see your face because of these microphones. Uh-huh. It really bothers me. Who, Elephant Boys? Yeah, there's big shadows all over his uh-huh. face. I can't I can't get this to work. Yeah. But anyway, go uh-huh. ahead. So, 
So when when I got there, we are, I have to wait like two hours before our plane leaves. All right, so two hours before your plane yeah, leaves, you, know. you meet Elephant Woman. Well, at first, you know, she was asking for autographs. You know, she was asking point. you for an autograph. Yeah, wait a minute, and wait everybody. A minute. I, I don't was, understand. Is yeah. this when we're leaving or when we're when coming? We're leaving. When we're leaving. Oh, okay. So two yeah. hours before we're about to leave on the plane, because you left on the plane with us. Yeah, that's she, right. She asked you for your autograph. Yeah. And we, I was there with Kenny Kit Carapak, Miss Halston. You were there with a lot of people yeah. from the show. So yeah. she walks up and asks for your autograph. W- right. And you give her an autograph. Yeah. Now, how did romance blossom? Were you attracted to Elephant Boy right away, Elephant Girl? He was very nice. He's yeah. such a nice man. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice man. Yes. Um, now, obviously, you've been around the block honest. a few times. Am I correct? Not that many times. No, no, you've had a few boyfriends. Oh yes. How many kids you got? Two. I knew it. <laughs> I knew you'd been around the block a few times. <laughs> Is that right? You've been married and stuff, or not yes. even married? Oh, you were married. I'm divorced right now. A couple of husbands, or one uh, husband. One husband. A Pollock. <laughs> a Pollock. All right, so you had a Pollock. <laughs> and what happened? Did he beat you, or? Uh... I'd rather not tell. All right, you might want to talk about it. All right. <laughs> Were you, in fact, married to Lobster Man? Was that the, uh... No, no. All right, no. all right, all right. So this is your first celebrity, I take it. The Elephant Boy. <laughs> yes, okay. Yes. All right. So you were married to a regular guy. Marriage didn't work out for whatever reason. Those are your own reasons. And uh, we certainly don't know whether or not he beat you or, uh, you know, hit you in the head with his foot. We don't know what he did. We don't know if he just went on off with another woman. We don't know what the reason. Maybe he just fell out of love. For whatever reason, who knows what it was. Maybe he drank. We don't know. We don't know what happened there. That's his business and your business. But there you were alone, and you hadn't had any boyfriends since um, your marriage? Not really. They'd no. been few How and long far has between. the divorce been? Three years. Three oh. years. You had the kids to raise. You had to earn a living, I assume. Yes. What kind of work are you involved in? At the post office. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. At the post office, mm-hmm. working hard. And I think Fred is into postal work as well, so <laughs> the two of you have a lot in common. Fred has mailed a few things. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> now, do the kids call Elephant Boy Pop or Dad at this point, or uh, have they met the have they met the Elephant Boy? Um, they t- they've talked to him on the phone. They call him Teddy Freddy. Because, Teddy Freddy, yes. Yeah. Because I send him like a tape, uh, you know, of, of a postman. Oh. Like Oh, you sent them a, te- a teddy bear of a Vermont teddy bear yeah. of a postman. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. Between yeah. us, Howard, we'll figure this out. That's <laughs> it. And, and because you're two postal yeah. workers, will you exchange <laughs> firearms uh, at Christmas? <laughs> well, you work in postal, don't you, uh, Fred? No, Some kind of postal? I, no, I, I work for another branch of the government. Oh, I see. Yeah. I thought it was postal yeah, operation. No. Now, so um, how old are her children? Uh, three and a half. Marissa is three and a half, and Andrew is six. Okay. Andrew is six, I see. Yeah. So, okay, so three and a half and six. These are young children. And, Freddie, you ready to take on the responsibilities of a, a young father? family? Yep. We, d- we take it one day at a time. All right, you're not saying yeah. marriage yet. This oh, is no, a little within soon. Time, within time. Within I'm, time. I'm not afraid. I've never seen so such love. So, in two hours. <laughs> yeah. In an airport. Did you guys do it at the airport? <laughs> no. Heck no. Heck no. Heck no. What do you mean, heck no? <laughs> Come on. Come on, yeah. Howard. They yeah. struck up a friendship and yeah. exchanged numbers? Yeah. Hey, Robin, yes. what are the odds that her kids will run away? I say even money. <laughs> They'll run away before preschool. Let's <laughs> the elephant boy. Yeah. They won't be there when she gets home. You think so? <laughs> All right. So, so what do you say? You're at the airport, and what happens? Phone numbers are exchanged? Yeah. And, and Fred called me as soon as he landed yeah. in uh, New York. Oh, I'm sure. He had a live wire. Why not? You're the first girl who's ever given him a number. Yeah, this is the first That's number he's ever gotten. Fred, somebody give me a number, and who am I to ignore it? Right. You, uh, whatever you just said. Yeah. And, and, you, uh, and you're holding hands here like real lovers. I mean, this, yeah. is, uh, this is no joke, Robert. Right. Are you convinced? Now, wait a minute. I just want everybody to realize that two-hour meeting in Cleveland was their own only time together until now. That's right. There's, this is no girlfriend. They've been talking on the phone on a regular yeah. basis. This is no girlfriend. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll, we'll see about that in a minute. <laughs> Wap it. Oh, hold on. Wap it. I'm going to make you eat your hair weaves. <laughs> He's going to make you eat your hair weaves. Very good, Elephant Boy. There you go. <laughs> well, something must have happened. I think so. <laughs> so, Elephant Boy, uh, because I saw Elephant Boy frantically dialing on the plane, and he was trying yeah, to pull it from the plane. Yeah, he was using that phone plane. I'm in love. That plane boat. Will you marry me? <laughs> so, you okay. can't hear no, me over no. this noise? Yeah. Turn off the engine. All right, let's get to the romance. So, in other words, Elephant Boy, you've been talking on the phone, yeah. and you and Mrs. Elephant Boy are talking over the phone on a regular Elephant basis. Girl. And you say, please yeah. come to New York. I need to see you. At first, at first, I wanted to go to Cleveland. Well, what kind of conversations did you have? 
What do we say? What, what oh. did you talk about? How long would you talk on the phone? Hours? How'd you oh, understand yeah. anything? Yes. <laughs> I can understand, Fred. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> and and were you drunk at the airport when you met him and stuff? <laughs> no. No, you were sober? Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. So... I love him, boy's a good man. He's very honest, very sensitive, very mm-hmm. nice. Yeah. Now, have you ever stripped? No. <laughs> no, I'm not a stripper. No, not a stripper? No. Never taking your clothes off in front of a bunch of guys? No. I mean, you might have to later in front of us. <laughs> you might have to look you over. The elephant boy likes us to see. Okay, sit down. <laughs> elephant boy's very nervous. He doesn't want to lose this one. Right. right. So now I still want to know about these conversations. Yeah, okay, so you have these conversations, and does elephant boy profess his love for you over the uh, phone? said. You know what you should do? I was thinking about this. What? You should have a dentist shoot your mouth full of Novocaine before you talk to elephant boy on the phone, and then it would be an even playing ground. Oh, no. All right, so wait a second. Let me get this straight. You're saying that you had this phone conversation, and then you come to New York. Yes. And now, how long have you been in New York with Elephant Boy? Uh, since Wednesday. Since Wednesday. Couple Today days. is uh, Friday. Friday. Mm-hmm. All right, so Wednesday, you visit Elephant Boy. Where? Now he where? picked you up at the airport? Did uh, you take some time off from work, Elephant yeah, Boy? Yeah, I'm on vacation. You're on vacation. Vacation. Right. Vacation. Vaca- right. okay. vacation. And you're on vacation, and uh, you pick her up at the airport. Yeah. I assume you came in at LaGuardia or yeah. Kennedy? Yes. Kennedy, Kennedy, LaGuardia? Yeah. Took her back to your mother's house. No. Now, you live with your mom, so yeah. where did you go to be with her? I, I met her at the hotel. Right. You know. Now, Mrs. Elephant Boy, were you prepared for sex with Elephant Boy? Uh, were you feeling romantic at this point that you wanted him? Did you have to have him near you? Of course, Harry. Right, so you were ready to go to the hotel with Elephant Boy. Oh, yes. Right. He didn't so drag you in there by your hair, your no, beautiful no, long no, hair. No, he, no. Didn't, he didn't drag you in. No. He didn't try to uh, get you uh, doped up on heroin and no. something like that. No, no coke no, no. or anything like that. No coke like that. or speed <laughs> or anything like that that would make no, you, okay. No, no. Now, let me ask did you something. Did you take her to, did you, I'm sorry, Robin, yes? Is Fred put uh, picking up the tab for this whole trip? No. No. Mm. No. no, is that right? No. That's right. You're paying for it? Oh, yes. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Sucker mm-hmm. born every minute. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, wait a second. So, uh, <laughs> he would have paid you dearly. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Is there an elephant's trunk between his uh, legs? Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. All right, well, that'll be amazing. All right, so wait a second. So, you and Elephant Boy have been talking on the phone. Obviously, you could see that there's a good man inside the elephant Now, body. did you kiss him passionately as soon as you got off the plane? I was just hugged, you yeah. know, and that be... It might be a long, a long kiss. A kiss? Yeah. With tongue? Was she with tongue? No. 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 Just a no, kiss, hello. A, bu- All right, uh, a puppy kiss. <laughs> a who? A baby kiss? A public kiss. A public kiss. A public kiss. Public kiss, Robin. I'm feeling ill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, so... Uh, uh, name in New York. You know what saved this relationship? Yeah. Call the EMS workers, 911. You know what saved this relationship? She had never seen Fred eat. Right. Now, up to this point, you'd never seen Fred eat, right? Correct. <laughs> <Right. laughs> it's a scary proposition. Yeah. Okay, so wait a second. Let's, all right. Get Fred a pretzel. She'll be on the first plane back to Cleveland. He's on good behavior. He hasn't eaten in four on, days. I'm on my P's and Q's. All know. right. But don't eat any P's and certainly don't eat any Q's. Okay. So then you went ahead and you go right to the hotel? Yeah. Just yes. to check in, but we didn't stay. Just to check in, you played yeah. it cool. Yeah. Took her out for what? Some dinner? Oh, uh, yeah. My mother met... Ten, my mother Took her right ten. to your mother's yeah. house? Oh, so your mother knew she yeah. was coming into town. Oh, definitely. Oh, you're bringing a girl by for mom to me. Yeah. You had hardly... You hadn't even got on your first date. You're already meeting yeah. your mother? Yeah. I'm not mad. Did you think it was unusual, uh, Mrs. Elephant Boy? No, not really. No. No. A little bit unusual, but a sweet gesture. Yes, and And his mother's a very, very nice lady. Plus, she can translate whatever Fred says. (laughs) All right, so you get together, you meet the the mother behind the elephant, and um, (laughs) and then afterwards, uh, after the dinner, uh, you're feeling romantic still, even after Fred has eaten in front of you? Yep. A little yes. messy when he eats, right? Because when he talks and eats at the same time, no? No, Fred, Fred was very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Yes. Okay, and you... Uh, and she wore a, a plastic cover. <laughs> and, <laughs> and did you? And then did you go right back to the hotel after dinner? Uh, yes, we did. You did? You went back? Uh-huh. And uh, at that point, you hardly could keep your hands off one another, I would guess. Am I correct? 
Of course. <laughs> Is that true? I know you're a little uh, bit modest, true. but uh, <laughs> Elephant Boy needs to brag a little. It's been 37 yeah. years since he's had sex. Um, we are on Pip Down. When we got comfortable watching TV, listened to the radio. We watched you watched everything. You listened yeah. to radio. Listen to everything. Watched, watched everything. You're listening to radios. The TVs are on. You're All fine. the lights are on. Meanwhile, you want to grab her in your arms and, and yeah. have sex with her, don't oh, you? Oh, we was we was getting more often. We was using our our tongues. Oh, you know? oh so you were getting oh, some kissing a, during TV, and what were you watching on TV? Who who remembers? Right, right. You were busy. There was a horror film oh. in the bedroom. But you were a little uncomfortable. No. But no. Elephant Boy, <laughs> there was a horror film going on. No. So you slipped into what? Ninety. A little thong and a little bra, you know. A little thong and bra? Yeah. And where is this going on? At the Motel 6? <laughs> where, where does he put you up? I mean, uh, I'm right next to LaGuardia. Right next yeah. to LaGuardia. Oh, so you can hear the planes. <laughs> Lovely neighborhood. It's very romantic with the din of the planes going overhead. <laughs> No, we had the radio going. And, and you had the two kids locked in the closet, I hope. Oh, no, the two kids are locked in Cleveland. <laughs> All right, good, good. We got someone watching You didn't leave them. anybody with them because we don't want a bad babysitter story. <laughs> right, right, right. No, no, no. And did you check in as Mr. and Mrs. Smith or Mr. and Mrs. No, Fred the Elephant no, Boy? Yeah. Just, just uh, use our own names. Use your own names. Yeah. Times have relaxed a little. Yeah. The mores they're of our society. They're not throw them out because That's they're right. being immoral. Just because you're unmarried and <laughs> committing a sin against the church <laughs> Jesus and our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, I know, and I'm Catholic. And I am as well, and I don't He's a Jew. Oh, Fred, you're a Jew? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, found one of my Jesus. sisters. Somebody yeah. should be arrested. <laughs> All right. Now, now let's let's continue. I, I so then you're yeah. getting hot, and when she yeah. slips into her bra and teddy, or whatever Daddy. that is, do you uh, go wild, Elephant Boy? Can you barely contain yourself that you're finally having sex? Do you finally I throw think, off I that think, baseball cap? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good dookie, Sam. You know, that's why one thing. And then another thing, and then another thing. And when you finally had her in your arms naked, were you wild with passion? Yeah. And you had all your clothes. Did you undress Elephant Boy, or he took off his own clothes? I think I think she took off my underwear. She took off your underwear? Yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> what a treat. Oh, wow. I, oh, you must have I took off my panties. Uh, oh, gee. Oh. Turnabout is fair play. <laughs> Turnabout is fair yeah. play, yes. <laughs> well. So, Fred, now, could you believe this was actually happening? Fred, was it like uh, a dream? When I saw her with, with a, with a, with a bra and thing, I did like a Wayne was. I don't deserve this. I don't oh, deserve Oh, it was like Wayne's world. Yeah, I I'm see. not worthy. You, you didn't even get the words right. You started doing that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you schlub. <laughs> and did you? And did? And let me ask you something. Uh, did, did he? Did Fred the Elephant Boy whisper sweet, indecipherable nothings into your ear? <laughs> or uh, I couldn't understand. Yeah. It's the international language. The international yeah. language of love, of elephant love. <laughs> and he is. I happen to know Fred is very well endowed. Is he not? Oh yes. Yes. Yeah, so oh. you were shocked. What he lacks in speech abilities, he certainly uh, makes up for in that department, oh, the yes. physicality department. Yes, yes, yes. And he has a nice physique. He's not a horrible-looking guy. He's just yeah. got the elephant voice. If you get over that, yeah, you're in pretty good. good. And he's got a sweetheart, right? Very sensitive, very loving. You and can't, you can't help but not love him. And you couldn't yeah. achieve orgasm on the first love session because he probably couldn't last more than thirteen well, I'm seconds. I'm not going to tell you anything. Huh? Fred will tell me. That. No, no, no. You didn't last a long time. Tell the truth, Fred. No? Elephant boy. We got off done it all night. And you did, didn't you? How many times? Three? I'm not saying. <laughs> what do you mean you're not saying? No, that's perfect. How many times were you able to make love that night? He must have been, like, on fire. Yes. I will guess five. I wouldn't say five, but... Three? That's a good... <laughs> three? You made love three times. Oh, Eight different times. Did they have to change the rug in the room? Is it a mess? <laughs> <laughs> and of course, uh, Elephant Boy practiced safe sex, I hope. Of course. Yes. Oh, yeah. He already oh, told you that. Sex Popa 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 Popa. Well, you know it's safe. The guy hasn't had sex ever. And you are kissing her hand. You are grateful, obviously, because uh, that was a very touching I'm getting turned on. I haven't had my hand You're getting turned this much in my whole life. He kisses yeah. your hand all the time. He's yeah. very romantic, isn't yes. he? Yes. Because, because I don't want a moment to go by. Right. Yeah. When is she going back to Cleveland? On Sunday. Sunday. If that she can get away from Fred. <laughs> Fred, now what will you do? Will you move to Cleveland? I see you're wearing a Cleveland Indians t-shirt. I mean, yeah, you don't know what him. to He's do. He's already moved. There's, there's a, I He's already from, mentally moved to Cleveland. <laughs> yeah. a, I give her her children. You give her her children? No, she gift, already has two. A gift from her children. Oh, it's a gift from her children. Oh, a gift from children. her children. And you haven't yeah. taken it off for three days. <laughs> no, man, yeah, no, that must no, smell I want, pleasant. I want it today. Has Freddie been uh, keeping himself uh, uh -oh. fresh uh -oh. around you? Yeah, has he been bathing and uh, <laughs> keeping himself tidy? 
Yes. Yes, she has. Yes. Well, you're a lucky Just woman. I'll tell you why. You found love. Now, will this continue, or will you go back to Cleveland? Or was this and say, just oh, a one-night thing? Freddie's, Freddie's coming back to Cleveland for the Rolling Stones concert. Oh. I got my tickets for the Rolling Stone. What are you going to do, Elephant Boy? Are you going to ask for her hand in marriage? If everything works out, yes. No, how would more? you know no, when it's working yeah, out? Yeah, how would you know when things are working <laughs> out? When the time is right. I'm not going to, I'm not going to make a certain date. A if what? So to, I'm not going to make it like a certain date. Thanks, things to be. You want to be like our own Fred Norris, run no. off and maybe get a elope, like with oh, his no. uh, be Contessa. I can't help a miss it. If you want to give me a bachelor party, I can't it's help a miss it. Uh, I see. You have yeah. permission for a bachelor party. Yeah. Well, and how are you feeling? Are you in love with Fred? You can't help but not love Fred. Right. So, what are you, yeah. uh, but is that being in love? Ah. Yes. No. <laughs> yeah, she is in love. Obviously, yeah, Alpha Boy knows what to do in the sack. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you must have turned her on, you old devil. You old yeah. elephant devil. Look at you. Look at Elephant Boy with that, that smirk on his face. Like, yeah, I, 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 knocked, it, I knocked it off. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, I cat her. <laughs> yeah, she's in love. You know, Jolyn, you uh, can sit there. But you're jealous now, aren't you? I think you? you're a little oh, jealous. No. You would have been getting all this airtime if you had just made love to Elephant Boy. No, yeah. it's not that. I just, you know. And Jolyn will always be my friend. Sure. Yeah, are yeah. you, are you uh, a little jealous? Maybe just a little bit. Maybe. Really? All right. Well, there you Seeing go. Seeing true I love. Think he's trying to get blossom. me back. I took him to meet a friend of mine, and uh. You know what's funny, Jolyn? In a way, this is the man you've been looking for. You know, instead of uh, there's a guy who would have worshipped you. You know but you what let him... you are, Jolyn. Uh -oh. You are the girl in Forrest Gump. That's right. Uh -huh. I haven't seen that movie yet. You got to go see that. It's yeah. your life story. It is. You should have <laughs> gone after Elephant. Now all the girls suddenly want Elephant. The phones are all lit up. Girls need dates with Elephant Boy. Well, well you were smart I'll, to take him on. You see, say how it. I want to make a comment to all the women I know who, who ask to become a friend, you know, who only want to be my friend. Sister, you blew it. You missed an opportunity of a lifetime. I hope you, you are miserable for the rest of your pathetic lives. Ooh, is he angry? <laughs> well, there's a bitter elephant boy. In other words, Ooh. now that he has found true love, he is telling all the women who only wanted to be his friend yeah. that they missed out. That's yeah. Well, there you go. Well, there you go. One, the smell of success. Once you get that smell on you, you're desirable. Ah. Look at him there. Right? Telling the women goodbye. Kissing him off. He's found his love. Mwah. And uh, I, I predict big things for you, too. Yeah. Well, there it is, Robin. Ah, I guess we'll be uh, getting ready to go to, to another wedding. Yes, we yeah. will. I would say, like, keep you posted. I give these two two more days before she wises up. <laughs> <laughs> before she catches on. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> He's got to have you hypnotized. Right, Let me see. Oh, oh, it was a big kiss. Oh. Robin, you missed it. Oh, dear. Oh, 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 here it is. Oh. Jackie, Whoa. <laughs> oh, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> uh oh, I'm puking. <laughs> Elephant Boy was kissing a girl. Okay, we're going down one right. How is sick? <laughs> All right, Elephant Boy with uh, his first true love. Yeah. He waited 30, how old are you now? 34? 35. Uh, waited, waited 35 years for true love, but he there did find go. it. And uh, congratulations to the happy couple. In fact, uh, what is Elephant Girl's name? I mean, oh. do we think Elephant ever? Girl? I don't yeah. think oh, this woman wants her she name. She doesn't want to be <laughs> publicly. Mary. Mary, Mary Elephant Girl. Okay. Mary Elephant. Mary <laughs> Elephant. All right, fine. There it is. Mary Elephant, uh, the new Mrs. Elephant Girl. Well, your, your mother must be excited, huh? Have you? Are you going to introduce Fred to your friends and relatives? <laughs> oh. Yes. Oh, oh you are. Yes. That's, that reminds me, Harry. I got a picture from one of a friend. I don't know whether you can see what's in the back of the guy. She'd That's like you to friend. post it on your yeah. wall. Oh, thank a you. picture of one of your friends naked. Well, yeah. thank you. Very well, lovely. You have to read the back. It, it's yeah. also... Uh, to, um, you better not say it. I yeah, will not. Actually, All right. Uh, very nice. <laughs> Do you introduce him to your friends as Elephant Boy or uh, as Fred? Fred. Fred, you Freddy. do. I see. All right. Well, that's, that's more human. Okay, very good. And they understand him, too. Well, they haven't spoken with him yet, but uh, as soon as he comes to uh, Cleveland yeah. next month. If Fred was to ask you to marry him, would you do it? Mm. At this point? Not yet. Not yet, no. Not yet. Hey, I'm Fred, not let yet. her answer. <laughs> no, not oh, yeah. Yet. No, 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 yeah, no, I still yeah. want to play the field. If Fred just no, felt no, wild, no. yeah, play the field some more. Off right. You know how barren no that field yeah, is. You better, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now we'll get the delusions of grandeur. <laughs> yeah, maybe I ought to wait around, see what else is out there. There's still plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> no way. Has anybody pulled you aside and said, are you on acid or anything <laughs> like that? No. no. You're yeah. in love. You look like a woman in love. You really oh, do. He's so nice. Of he's such a nice guy. That's right. It's either the look of love or a look of uh, someone in a daze, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
How did it go? Oh, well, I've been dumped by Elf and Boy for another woman. Okay. It's okay. Rich, the gay intern, said he'd be my new boyfriend and we could have the same relationship. It wouldn't bother him a bit. <laughs> How did it go, guys? Oh, oh it great. Was great. It was great. So it was so nothing. It's less than that what we have said to how, you know, everybody was tired of how we would treat our band. But it was all gay. And Howard was nice to you? Yeah. Oh, yes. And Freddie's nice too. I love Freddie. Yeah. I love you.